There we go. The day that Nancy Drew becomes windowless border, border mode in the settings is gonna be a good Hi, day. I'm Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy Drew. Look, I literally wrote, I don't know what's next. <laughs> so I literally didn't know what to do. All right, let's see. I think it's because I finished everything. And I think I talked to everybody. What's up? All I can do is give them candy. I'll check back with you in a bit. <laughs> have fun. I will have fun. And then I can't go to bed either. No bed for me. I see? still have things to do. What what are those things, Nancy I can't Drew? Get to set just yet. What are those things? Yes. Nobody's giving I'll let me you any get back work. To work. Whatever. Whenever. Maybe I have to like trigger something. Like trigger an occurrence or something. Maybe we go to maybe we go, I don't know, paw I don't know. Where should we go? Maybe let's go to mom paws. Maybe he has something for me. Oh! <laughs> when I was young, I read all Nancy Drew books. You did, what is it? I think I read one. <laughs> you got you got a leg up over me. I just couldn't get into the books as much. I think it's just because I, I couldn't visualize what was happening in some of the books. Wow, it was just like a hard my read. Customer. I've enjoyed talking to you. Don't let them canoots work you too hard. Hmm. Should never let Kylie drive. I am the safest, safest driver in the history of driving, okay? This is different, okay? I promise you, your, your life is in very safe hands if I were to drive. I don't take any unnecessary turns I'll actually go the long way if it stresses me out to take a left turn on like a crazy busy highway or street, not highway, but you know what I mean? Hmm. I need it. I need this. Apparently I could have found an Easter egg if I didn't put this away yet. Hmm. We got an Easter egg from here. Okay. I don't know where to go, darn it. Maybe, uh, let's see. Where have we not been in a while? Maybe we should go to the spring house? Maybe? I don't know. Do y'all have any ideas? Maybe call everyone. Oh, see, that's not a bad idea. Maybe we need to call, like, Ned. Or, no, Ned's not even a, a, an option. Uh, we can call the Hardy Boys. Why not? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's call the Hardy Boys. Maybe they have something for us. Hey, I heard you guys got pounded by a major storm system a little while back. Okay. Did you get anywhere near the storm? Yeah, a little too close if you ask me. Awesome. Did you see any cows getting sucked up into the funnel or anything cool like that? What do you mean by how too is, close? How is that cool? Christy and I were driving to the staging area, and the funnel formed almost directly on top of us. Score! Whoever this Scott Joker is, he should know better than to put his crew in harm's way. You know, you should let me talk to him. Don't worry about it. It's under control. Sorta. Well, nearly. <laughs> Shy. He's so, so banana peels. Hmm. Any idea why Chase would be acting so suspiciously about having oil on his boots? Maybe he found a secret oil reserve and doesn't want anyone to know. Yeah, but the chances of that are... We already confronted Come him. To think of it. This part of the country, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. If he did find oil, wouldn't it belong to the university anyway? Probably. Well, it's not that simple. It depends on the state of the property deed. But say he found oil, and he kept it secret. He might be able to buy the property for cheap and cash in on the oil. No wonder he seems so strange. That is, if he, that's what's going he on. He admitted. Right. I'll keep an eye out for more clues. What is this? I can't get pictures of all the clouds that I need. Don't forget that weather is always changing. The cloud formation you need could form anywhere. If you're having trouble finding a formation, you don't necessarily need to chase it down. Just keep an eye out. Wait, am I supposed to be taking pictures of clouds this whole Sounds time? Sounds good. Talk to you soon. I thought I bye finished. Bye. 
Did I not finish? I think I finished. Okay, let's. I don't Me. like this guy's I haven't guy's heard from voice. you in too long. You closer to figuring out who's been tampering with my machines? I have a few hunches, but it's still a little too soon. I was thinking, these are some pretty complicated machines. Good idea, Wouldn't Lulu. You have I'm to calling know quite people. a bit about their inner workings to sabotage them. Now there's a thought, Andy. I think you might be right. Doesn't take much skill to break a machine, but to tweak it so that it's doing its job differently. Now that takes some mechanical smarts. Hey, there might be something to that. Unfortunately, the thing is, there's not one person on the team there that wouldn't be capable of something like this. Good hunch, but do you have anything else? <sighs> not yet, but I'm working on it. Do you know anything about oil deposits in this part of the country? Afraid I don't. Never gave much thought about oil, to tell you the truth. Dig a hole, make a fortune. I guess it's appealing for some people, but to me it's just plain boring. I'm more interested in making than finding. Would it be possible for someone to sabotage a GPS device? Of course it would. It takes a top-notch mind to put together something as complicated as a GPS device. Uh, but I don't need to tell you that. Mm -hmm. It's always easier to destroy something than it is to make it work well. Why do you ask? My GPS went a little wonky and sent me she right into a shine? storm. And I don't think it was an accident. She's an older lady. I don't like the sound of that I one bit, Andy. Old she is now. From now on, I want you reading maps, too. Like the old saying goes, trust but verify. I'm going to do some snooping on my end to see what kind of people you're dealing with out there. They might be worse than I suspected. Thanks. I've enjoyed talking to you. Call back any time. Hmm. Well, nothing grand really happened. Hmm. Am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to be going to the clouds? Maybe. Maybe we should go to a cloud spot and take a photo. Oh, I'm so bad at figuring out where I am though. Izzy from Digimon. Maybe she's done other. Maybe I don't know what other um things she's voice acted. Oh, see, that's normal. What if we go to another cloud spot that was over here? Because I think I needed to go here when we were chasing that tornado. So maybe maybe there's like a clue or something that somebody left behind. Maybe. I mean, you can search her up. Like, search her up and see, like, all the voice acting gigs that she's had. I'm sure it's, like, on a website somewhere. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Oh, see, this looks cool. This is a different... Oops, wait. I'm gonna save it. I don't know if I need to save it. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Was there anything in the grass I could click on? No. Also, that just changed, didn't it? Where's that other cloud? Okay, it's over here. Get out of the way. No, these all look the same. No. Alright, let's go back and see. We might need a search online to see what I need to do. Because I feel rather stuck. Okay, Shines. I'm actually curious, too, so if you see anything, let me know. Weird that they don't give you a box to check off for clouds, right? I thought that was weird, too, because I thought I already finished. You know? And, like, there's no, like... There's no, like, indicator. I just wanted to check on the prairie dogs that I vacuumed. Oh, oh shoot! It looks like the money box I found at the farmhouse. Terms are agreed. Series of CB with CC or CG from the HP storm by June 2nd. Upon delivery, payment will be rendered in the amount of $550. Wait, maybe this is what I needed to find. Ooh. All right, here we go. We have to figure out the acronyms, though. Hey there. That's it for now. 
I think you around. found it. Yeah, I think that's that's probably that's so silly though to know that you had to look there. Like that's a silly. That's silly. What's up? Know. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun. Hmm, nobody's wanting to talk about it. Hello, Nancy. Hmm. I'll let you get back to that's work. That's a problem. Ta -ta. No bed for me. I still have things to do. Hmm. Happy Pokemon Day, XPS. Okay, here we go. Um. Download. But it doesn't even... But it doesn't even, like, have, like, a list or anything. Mm. I don't know. I don't feel like we need to be doing the clouds. Hey, Nancy, whoa. Never seen that look on your face before. Oh, here we go. You've been secretly selling tornado footage to someone, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's You've not You've been true. shooting stuff for the team, but selling it on the sly, using the box under the yellow rose bush by the barn as a drop point. <gasps> That's this is what we how needed. you got all those scratches on your arm. And yeah. Debbie not only knows about it, she condones it. I overheard you two talking out in the cornfield. Or should I say, conspiring. You two are trying to get Scott so frustrated that he finally blows and says or does something that will force the college to let him go. Nancy, do you have any idea how crazy you sound? What? What I don't know for sure is whether you two are also responsible for the other stuff that's happened around here, like the hose in Pete's car and the equipment failure and the mouse infestation. <laughs> Guess I'll just have to tell Scott everything and see what he thinks. Okay, look. I don't know why you feel like you need to stick your big fat nose where it doesn't belong, but all I did was sell some pictures and footage to this girl I know who's trying to make a name for herself as a nature photographer. Legally, all the stuff I shoot belongs to the team, but that's totally unfair, and Debbie agrees. She knows how hard it is to get a good start, and she looks the other way. Don't be upset with her, though. She's just trying to help. But when it comes to all that mm, other what do we stuff, think? I had nothing to do with any of it, and neither did she. I promise you. So there's really no reason to tell Scott any of this. Right? Mm, I guess not. What? You're a fine lady. Oh, and that big fat nose thing? Kidding. <laughs> how about you say sorry so, uh, instead of just kidding? How are those cloud pictures coming? Actually, I'm having problems finding Cirrostratus. What? You know, if you head on out to the Fraser Creek windmill, I'll bet you anything you'll get your picture. Weather conditions for Cirrostratus should be perfect right now. In the meantime, I gotta get back to work. See ya. Wow. I hate it when people do that. They're like, haha, you look kind of fat today. I'm just kidding. It's literally what he said about Nancy. That hurts. That bet, I bet that hurts her feelings. That's mean. Never say that. Just say you're sorry. Yeah, what is with this hidden cloud quest, Lulu? It's late, Nancy. Why don't you call it quits for the day? No! I need to go take a freaking cloud photo! <laughs> Stop, Debbie! Alright, um... Windmill. Alright, let's head to the windmill and get this secret cloud photo, apparently. <laughs> I'm so confused why it doesn't, it didn't tell me that I needed this photo. Man, I am doing one heck of a job. Is there anything here? What's the here? Oh, nothing. Okay, down and there we go. Is this what I need? Ooh, a rainbow. Is that the kind of cloud I needed? I can't remember. I can't even remember what cloud it's called. Hold on, let's see if it changes. In the world. No, it's the same. Maybe that's the photo I needed. She, he's trying to get Final Fantasy X kisses with Debbie. <laughs> God. 
<laughs> There's gotta be. Where? I don't understand. There was gotta be a place that said about the clouds. That's silly. Hi, Mai. Okay, let's see if this worked. I'm gonna hit the sack, Nancy. You should do the same. Wait. Oh, camera. There. Is that good? Can't even remember the name of the cloud he said. What's up? I need to get going. Pop in any time. Hmm. All right. Well, let's make Nancy go to bed. 65 Stream Street, XBS. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, Oh, Daddy. hi, Arbitrary. Nancy, I did watch perfect it. perfect timing. We've got oh. a couple target storms ready to go critical. We need to get out in the field now. You'll drive. Scott and I are going to be tracking the storm. Okay? Ready? Yes, let's go. All right, let's go. Not this one. Cool. I'll be driving. We've got two, maybe three possible targets out there. All right, good. That's what I like to hear. Tell me what we're Thanks, looking my... at. Got word that the northmost cell is already throwing some pretty sizable hail. We might be a little late on that one. All right, that's not the system I'm excited about anyway. Didn't think so. We go west. It's a longer drive, but there's some good movement. High amount of shear. Perfect. From what I've been hearing, Brooks' team has been saying they already got six confirmed touchdowns and two good reads on supercells that didn't spawn. She said them. west. She's a number. Six people confirming one storm cloud is not six confirmations. We really could use a nice data set on a non-tornadic supercell. Maybe she'll share what she's got. <laughs> now that's an idea. Why didn't I think of that? Brooke, it'd be really cool if you'd share your data. I mean, really, it's just the right thing to do. All right, stay sharp. This system is starting to look really good. Should I drive into one of the pull-offs for tracking a storm? Yes. One of the pull-offs? It's your lucky day, Nancy. Since I don't feel like wrestling with the prehistoric Doppler unit, you're going to do it for me. Excuse me? What am I doing? But Arbitrary, I thought the Pokemon Presents was fun. You can go with my VOD and, like, watch it if you really want to. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't too, like, wah about it. I was just kind of mildly happy. <laughs> um, Team Four... Wait. Who is... Well, she's done all of that, Shines? She was in Skyrim? What? The heck? Really? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Nancy, did you avoid somebody in Skyrim? What do I do here? Since oh. Kanyuka care less about providing working equipment, we're stuck with this garbage. You're going to have to take care of warming it up since it's about twice your age. You're going to have to flip three switches, one in each group, to get it started. All the lights need to be set to blue before it starts working properly. Remember, the lights won't turn until you activate them. What in the world? Hmm. Well, the problem here is you're supposed to only hit three at a time, but eventually there's only two. So how, and it looks like I can't, 
Oh, maybe I do this. Oh. No. <laughs> um, her name is Lanny Manella. Skyrim is on every system, so easy to try. Um... You think there's a Nancy Drew Skyrim mod? Maybe. I honestly wouldn't know. It's so odd. But then I, but then I can't turn this one off. This is such a weird puzzle. Um. That's done. Hmm, what are we thinking, chat? I don't really understand this puzzle. I wish, if I could get like one switch to not go, or to be yellow instead of blue. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That worked. Wait, that's not good enough. <laughs> Dang it. Hmm. You think that would work, but it doesn't. Hmm. Thanks, A, for the 65 same streak. They need to all be blue, but the only problem is that you can only do three switches at a time. But they all need to be blue. This is how it starts. It already starts with these three as down, but we don't need these to be down. We need two of these to be up. And it seems like I can. See, I can do that. But I don't really understand why. <laughs> That's kind of, this is kind of a confusing puzzle. Um, thank you, Lulu. This water bottle is great. Holy cow, it like saves, it makes it it's super cold. All right. Um... Hmm, maybe this is okay? Okay, here, maybe this is okay now. We did it! Uh-oh. Now they're gonna, gonna blame me! Running quickly. They're gonna blame me. If those cables get mixed up, it will be days before I can get them resorted. Oh, he's not mad at me. Make sure you keep those cables in order. Don't forget, the top cable goes in the first plug, and the bottom goes in the last plug. What? Say that again? What? The top goes in the what? What did he say? Wires. <laughs> I still have no idea how it worked. I don't really know either. I was kind of just guessing randomly. Okay, what? Make sure you're keeping those cables in order. Try working from the top down. Huh?
How are things coming on that Doppler? Confusing. Do I have to wait until this turns green? Oh, I see. What's the word? You finished? How do I know what the second one is? Do you understand it? You have to put them in order based on which wire is on top. Oh, okay. I think I see. Maybe like this What's the word? then. You finished? Huh, what's on top? You would think that these intersect. The visual puzzle. Oh, I see. I see. So once you get rid of that, what's the next one on top? Oh, I see it. Okay. Uh, uh, blue. Ah, I get it. Can you hurry it up a little? Ah, yellow is the next one. <laughs> I get it. Uh, what is the next one after yellow? Green, I think. <laughs> and then orange. Oh, wow, that was already there. Okay, maybe then light blue? Isn't this like a board game? I think I played something like this when you're when I was younger. You have to like take take off this um take off these sticks. I don't know. I'm misremembering, but Almost done. Okay, maybe this is it. Oh, pink. <laughs> Yeah, pick up sticks. It's like that. Yeah, it's a super old game. How are things coming on that dog? Nice job, Nancy. Looks like we're ready to roll. Actually, Yay. it looks like we're out a bit early here. Nothing's developing like it should be. Let's get back to base and track from there. I don't want to follow a bum lead on a system with this much potential. What? We're leaving now? Really? After all of that? Nancy, have you seen Scott? Not since we got back. There's a huge front coming in and he's nowhere to be seen. This is not like Scott. If you see him around, will that you let me escalated. know? escalated. Chase and Frosty and I are supposed to be leaving for the Grange soon, and I really need to know that someone is keeping an eye on these fronts. Oh, well, I don't know. Where'd Scott go? Scott, what the heck, dude? Oh, what's this? Oh, I can open it. <laughs> what is this? Brooke's been paying Scott off? Oh, Scott, you're, you fulfilled your end of the bargain. My team is bound to win now. Let's meet at the agreed upon lo location this afternoon before the storm hits. I'll bring your payment. Don't forget, the final terms are you disappear until my team has officially been named the winner. Brooke. Oh, location site. Review surface charts. 45 plus dew point and continuous moderate rain. 85 degrees plus with either light hail, no thunder, or severe thunderstorm with hail. Find the dates. Oh, so we have to figure out the location. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to take a photo of this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. I know how to figure this out, kind of. Wow. So he's he's he is a traitor. He's sabotaging his own team. That's weird. Interesting. His calendar had symbols on it, remember? Sh true. Wait, but... Wait, is this not what I need, though? Because it has, like, numbers on here. Uh, should I look at his calendar for this, or do you think it's this? 
because there's this thing and then there's this. Hold on, let me show you. This. Hmm. It says 40 plus, 45 plus dew point. What's a dew? Oh, dew point. 45 plus dew point and continuous moderate rain. Maybe it means 45 and up. Whoa, what's that? Wait, what's, what's this? Why is it showing me this? That's weird. Um, okay, hold on. What is continuous moderate rain? Here we go, the three dots. So moderate rain continuous, so it's three dots. It said 63 on it. I don't know if that matters. So maybe it means like 45 and up dew point and the three dots. Okay, so let's look. This one is, this one's 46.2 and it has three dots. Oh shoot, this one's 47. Maybe this isn't it. 46.229. Now there's too many that have a dew point of 45. It says 45 plus dew point. Hmm. That's a lot of options. And then it says what day. There's one part of this game that reminds me of the cognitive science research that cracks me up in this. Cognitive research, science research, What's, what do you mean? Hmm, how about we do the next one? It says 85 degrees. Well, it says 85 and has a little circle, so it means a degree. With either light rain, Oh wait, either light hail, no thunder, or severe thunderstorm with hail. Let's go back to his calendar just to see real quick. What the heck? Let's just see his calendar again, because I can't remember. <gasps> Y'all are right. So we do have to use his calendar. But I still don't understand. I still don't understand. <laughs> so I think we have to figure out which month and then the day. So it's only four letters each though. Hmm. <laughs> no, arbitrary. Uh. Dang it, we're gonna catch you, so give up already. I studied psychology and cognitive science, and they used, uh, and they used to and still do test rats and mice. Mice is spatial awareness by testing them through tubes and mazes. When you see rats in this game, you'll get it. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, you see when we caught the mice? <laughs> um, I'm a little stumped too. Um, it looks like we need four letters each, but... It says location site, review surface charts. So, I think the surface chart... Is there anything else on his desk that could help me? Hmm... This one's a little tricky. It's gotta be, it's gotta be this, right? All right, see, these are the charts. These are the charts. Surface charts, so this is what we have to do, but it still doesn't make any sense. Or maybe, hold, hold on chat, hold on. Maybe we have to write down all of the ones that have a 45 up dew point and continuous moderate rain. So maybe that is, so let's just try it. Okay, so this one's day eight. 
because it has 45 and continuous moderate rain. So maybe somebody write this down. We I could be wrong, but let's just try it. Oh, March 8. Um, March 21. I don't know who's writing this down. I need somebody designated to write it down. Uh, oops. March. I didn't even know this was March. That's probably helpful. March 26. This has to be it. Okay, but that's only three. That's only three. Because this one's only a 29.6 dew point. Hmm. I guess it doesn't hurt to have three. Who says there has to be four? It could, it, Nancy could just be throwing us off. So March 8th, 21, and 26. All right, let's just, let's just see what happens when we look on those dates to see if it spells anything. What the heck? Okay, so March, Eighth is B. March twenty one is A. And what was the last one? I don't know that Kylie needs a designed writer instead of a driver. <laughs> hey, designated writer instead. Of, I do need a designated writer. <laughs> and hi, Will. Good morning. I can't remember. Was it the twenty six? G maybe. Okay, let's double check if it was a 26. You're fine, Lulu, don't worry. <laughs> I'm sorry about your meeting. Maybe by the time you get back, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, hold on, what was it? The 26, okay, I was right. So it's bag, B-A-G, it spells B-A-G. It spells bag, chat, that's a word. Okay, okay, all right. Hold, but hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me add this to <laughs> the stream so you guys can see it. Hold on. Because this is where I'm getting a little confused. Hold on, let me, let me add this image it's gonna be a little big at the beginning all right here so this is what i'm oh god this is what i'm working with right this was the letter that was in oh this was the letter that was in the the his desk right so See how it says location site review? That's what we're doing. But it, there, there's two of them. There's 45 plus dew point and then 85 plus either light. Okay, hold on. Maybe that's our, maybe that's our fourth word or fourth letter is the last one. Maybe. Hmm, let's see. Okay, it says 85. It says degrees though. So... I don't know what that means. I'm going to say 85 plus, like we did it with the other one. I know, 85 degrees. Maybe they meant like, maybe they mean maximum. Like the maximum temperature. Maybe they, they mean that. 85 degrees with either light hail, no thunder. All right, let's figure out what that even looks like. Okay, hold on. Light hail, no thunder. Okay, here you go. Light, hail, no thunder is just two triangles on top of each other. Okay. Um, or severe thunderstorm with hail. Okay, so severe thunderstorm with hail looks like the R with a triangle on top. 
So we're looking for 85 degrees with either this one or this one. <laughs> Easy. All right, let's find it. Let's find it in March. So 85 degrees. Okay, 85. There you go. March 3rd. March 3rd. Okay, is there any other ones though? Oh shoot, March 18th is another one. So we got March 3rd and March 18th. All right. Hmm. What happens? What? But that's two. That, 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 hmm. W9? Hmm. See, this is the problem, and there's only four. But then what order? Where did you get that, Ian? <laughs> did you look that up? I think it's got to be four on top of the first line. It is. But we have, like, so many dates from March that have both of those um, things over there. Because um, we found three for the first star and then two for the second star. But we haven't even looked at April or May. So I guess we could go look real quick and just see like how, how many more there are. Oh, you're just looking at the symbols? Okay. Yeah, don't look it up. I don't wanna, I don't want it to be spoiled. All right, April, let's see if April has anything. So 45, okay, so April 3rd is one. Same with April 10th, and then April 29th, so that's three. All right, and let's try the 85 one, 85, okay, 85. They said 85 plus, do they mean 85 exactly? Wait, maybe they mean exactly, 45 exactly. Is there even a 45 exact? Because I thought, I thought it meant like 45 and up. But maybe it doesn't mean that. Uh, I don't see anything that's 45 exactly though. No. Hmm. This is a problem though because there's so many. Okay, there was three in April. So then there, there looks like there's... Two also, the fifth and the sixth also have the thunderstorm and hail with 85 degrees and up. Oh, and same with this one. That's three. Ah, ah, oh, nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. No. See, that's three here too. So there's three, three, two in March, three, three in April. Okay, let's check May. Um, okay, May doesn't have any for the first one. Okay, let's try this one. No. Yes. Yes. Why the heck there's so many? I don't get it. Can I call? I'm gonna call. I need help. I need to phone a friend. Can't use my cell phone here. Why? Is it because of so Frosty? I need to Frosty. get going. See ya. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get help because I don't. I don't understand. Let's call. I'm gonna call in the rain. Better give me some good answers, Hardy boys. Making me call in the rain here. Hey Nancy, 
What's going on? What? They're not gonna help me? I'll check back with you in a bit. Whatever! Can't check that off yet. Oh. Oh, you get me so angry. Huh. Man, this Nancy Drew game is pretty brutal. Man, they're like, don't throw you to the sharks. Was there anything else on the paper? Like, did I need to flip it over? No. Hmm. Probably gonna need some paper to write this all down. Where's my pen? My pen and paper. Let's try. Let's try to figure this out, chat. Y'all are awfully quiet today. I need help. What the heck, chat? Brainstorm with me. Ah, I get it, because it's storming outside. All right, we already figured that out. So let's write, let's write these down. Okay, so March, what do you say? So we're gonna do the 45 plus. So we got March, mm, okay, March 8th. We got, because that's the continuous rain. That's what the symbol we're looking for. That's what continuous moderate rain look like looks like and it says 45 plus dew point which makes me think that this has to basically just be 45 and up i'm assuming <laughs> i'm reading about the pokemon direct i just woke up <laughs> good morning ria all right okay no other okay this one this is another one this is 45 and up and has continuous rain that's march 21st okay and then we have the 26th, so this one's 45 and up, continuous rain, so March 26th, okay. And then this one isn't one, so that's that. So let's do the 85 degree, 85 degree and up one with hail, light, with either light hail, no thunder, or severe thunderstorm with hail. Let me make sure I got that right. So light hail, no thunder, looks like this. And then a severe thunderstorm with hail. So it's like a little bent R with a triangle on top. But the triangle has to be, oh, maybe that's my problem. The triangle has to be see-through, not filled in. Okay, let me write that down. Okay, and there's got to be R... Maybe that's where I went wrong. Maybe I was looking at a triangle that was filled in. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, let's go back and see now. I had to whip out the handy dandy notebook, Lulu. <laughs> so does the and up mean above 85? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so we wrote down the 45 plus. So now we're gonna do the next one, which is 85 degrees. So this one is 85 degrees. I'm, assu I'm assuming it's and, like 85 and up. So I feel like this would count, but this has it. So that's March 3rd. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, next one, not this one. This one counts, so March 18th. Okay, no more. It's possible that it could just, well, this one's both 85, so I don't know. All right, well, there's those two. Okay, let's do April now. Let's go back to the 45 dew point with continuous rain. So April 3rd is an option. Okay. Um, April 10th is an option. And then April 29th is an option. Oh. 
All right, so then 18 through seven, wait, which my, <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, 85, let's do the 85 degree one. So, okay, 85 with hail, or no hail. What is that one? Whatever. Light hail, no thunder. That was April 6th. Okay. Um, 85 and up, 85 and up. No, no. This one, April 23rd. This is an option because it's 85 and up and it has no hail, light hail, no thunder. Okay, I feel like I, oh, okay. I thought, I think I thought April 5th, okay, we're good, we're good. So it's just April 6th and April 23rd. Okay. 18 through 17 were in March. What do you mean 18 through 17? Oh, you're talking about like the 85 degrees and up? Well, the thing is, it has to have the symbol for either light, hail, no thunder, which is this one. This is the symbol for light, hail, no thunder. Or it has to say, or it has to have severe thunderstorm with hail. And that is this symbol. So it couldn't be 17, but it can be 18 because it's 85 and it has that symbol. If that makes sense. All right, next is May. So let's look for 45 up dew point with continuous rain. So not this one, this is 44. Okay, that doesn't have anything. All right. All right, let's look for the 85 then. 85, no, wrong symbol. Wrong symbol. This one's one. May 6. This is one. May 6, because it's 85 and up, and it has this icon. Um, no. Oh, here we go. Here's one. May 12. <laughs> No, 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 no. All right, wait. What is this one? This one has a line through it. Does this one count? Hold on, let me double check. No, because if it has a line, it doesn't count. Okay, so I think we got them all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, <gasps> we got it. We got them. We got all dates and they all add up to what? Four, 12? I think there was 12 lines on the paper. Oh my God, there is. Yay. Okay, so I don't know if we have to do these in order, but we're gonna do them in order, which might not make any sense. All right, so March 8 is M. M. March 21st is A. I don't know which order. I guess I do all the 45s first and then all the 85s. I'm not sure. All right, March 26 is G. I think that's a G. Wait, I thought it was bag. Anyways. Uh and then March and then I don't know, April 3rd? April 3rd is V. Oh, see, that doesn't spell anything. <laughs> April 10th is C. April 29th is H. Okay, I don't have anything for May for the 45, so let's go back to March. March 3rd is W. March 18th is 9. This doesn't make any sense. April 6th is 2. April 23rd is S. May 6th <laughs> is 4. I don't think this is right, but maybe it is somehow. And then May 12th is A. And what does that spell? Magva true nine two s four a. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ugh. What can this spell? What did I do wrong? <laughs> Maybe just an order by date? Mmm. That would make sense. Let's do that. Let's try to do by the date. That's a good idea. Okay, so first date we have is March 3rd. So it's W. Alright, and then it goes March 8th, which is M. Uh, and then it goes March 18th, which is 9. And then March 21st, which is A. And then March 26th, which is G. Alright, let's go to April. April 3rd is V. April 6th is 2. April 10th is C. Oops. I don't know. Do these look like coordinates to you guys? Um, I mean, the fact that there's numbers involved makes me think that it's something. All right. So that was C. Okay, so then April 23rd is S. April 29th is H. Okay. And then May... May 6 is 4. And then May 12th is A. Oh, okay. All right. That's it. We did it. That was the most interesting puzzle I feel like I've done in a while where they do not handhold you, but that's okay. Okay. What? Uh. Okay. Do I need to input that into my GPS? Viewpoint. Um. Hmm. Hold on. <gasps> Use Frosty's photographs to track down Scott's meeting location? Check. What? That? What? Okay, I would have never guessed that. Because of the numbers. It's because of the numbers, chat. I mean, we figured it out, but at what cost? <laughs> also, why the heck is Scott doing this? Was it, was it because, oh, Frosty's gone. Wait, that's interesting. Why is what he in gone? What in the world? <laughs> ah! Cole, it Come scared me. <laughs> you, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. <laughs> why did that scare me? Why is he gone? Also, why can I look under here? Also, what is that sound? Anyways, I have to look at the pictures. This is such a strange thing. So he's the one who's been giving this stuff to Brooke. So he's been sabotaging his own team, but like, why? Because he can't become a tenure? Because he wants to, I don't know, maybe we'll find out. Maybe we'll find out. All right, wait, shoot. What was the numbers? WM94. These symbols match Scott's. This must be some sort of code. SH4A. So this is the windmill. So does this one. Hmm. Hmm, Nancy, I wonder where we have to go. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I knew what these numbers were going to come in handy eventually. These are all of the windmill. What? That must be where Scott's been meeting Brooke. What? Insane. All right, let's go to the windmill. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little exaggerative there. <laughs> Fun, though. All right, to the windmill. <laughs> Hmm. 
I literally thought we were gonna have to put in those coordinates, but I was like, those aren't even aren't aren't even coordinates. It's whatever though. Makes sense now. Alright, to the windmill. Let's go catch Scott in the act of being a traitor. Alright, Scott coming after you. What the heck? Brown car? Oh my god, what if we have to chase them in a car? What if we have to chase them? <gasps> Nancy, what there are you he doing is. here? Hi, JC. You mean me as opposed to Brooke? <laughs> Brooke? <laughs> what are you talking about? When I was fixing the phone jack, I accidentally overheard the phone conversation you two had. I could hear it through the headset on your desk. Dun dun dun! And just what do you think you overheard? Enough to know you two are working together. You've been sabotaging your own team, haven't you? Yep. You've been doing everything you can to make sure Brooke's team wins and yep. yours loses. Yeah. That's ridiculous. What? That's why you're meeting her way out here. So the people who've been looking up to you all this time couldn't see her paying you off. I have never gotten the credit I deserve for the work I've done, ever. I know more about tornadoes than any person alive, and I get neither the respect nor the compensation people half as brilliant as me get without lifting a finger. Why? Because I work for a podunk college run by podunk incompetence bent on bad-mouthing and spiting me at every turn just because I don't play well with others the music idiotic staff meetings. Why don't you just quit? Because thanks to them, I'm considered impossible to work with. No other school will hire me. I'm stuck here and they know it. So yes, I've been sabotaging my own team. And yes, Brooke is paying me a small fortune to do so because wow. I'm, I'm through. I'm through. The tornado's forming. I can feel it. It'll be on the ground in minutes. And it's going to be huge. And here you are, a novice out in the field and all alone. <clears throat> <gasps> Nancy, please pick up. Over. He's left me to die in the tornado! Nancy, please come in. This I'm is here. Debbie. Over. I think Scott knocked me out. He did what? When I confronted him about selling the team out to Brooke, he went berserk. I can't believe he would do that. And with Brooke Tavanaugh, of all people. Well, we'll deal with that later. Right now, I need you down here at the Grange ASAP. We need to evacuate the theater, and you've got my Grange keys with you in Frosty's car. I'm on my way. Over and out. The Grange? Also, JC, thank you for converting your sub. That was really sweet of you. Welcome back to the Fair Family. Thank you. Oh, God. Ah! Where's the Grange? Oh. Why is the music so nice now? Wow, he hit me. Chat, did you see that? He hid me and he was going to sick a tornado on me. How evil is that? That's beyond evil. Also, I don't think his excuse is good enough. No. Wow. Just because he couldn't get whatever. Here we go. Whoa, what is this place? Oh, it's hailing! Oh no! It's been chaos here. I was able to cobble together a pretty basic tracking system back at the homestead, and instantly I knew we were in trouble. The storm was showing a high potential of moving into Let town, me in! But without the proper Let me in! Meetings, we couldn't issue an alert. I knew we'd have to evacuate the Grange in person. But when we got here, we saw that it's locked. The shelter is locked on a performance night. I Stop talking! Let me in! While the rest of us work on a backup plan, okay? I'm trusting you here. I know you can do this. There are a lot of people depending on you right now. What is this now? Who would double lock a storm shelter? Nancy, quick, which key opens the shelter? Right? What? I don't know. I don't know. This one? Who would leave so many keys near an emergency shelter? Tell me about it. Why would you do this? <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> this one. Oh, I, I got killed by a tornado. <laughs> who, who double locks a shelter? Who does that? Who does that? Who does that? What is this now? Who would double lock a storm shelter? Now 
Oh, you can only do two keys before kill it being killed by the tornado. Okay. All right. I got to take my time then. <laughs> which is one is it, now? chat? Who would double lock a storm shelter? Nancy, this one. Which key opens the shelter? No. I don't know. Chad, do you know this one? This one. Yes, you did it. <sighs> nice job, Nancy. Lock it. Well, I think the worst has passed. Oh my god, hearing those sirens, man. That's like traumatic. I hate hearing tornado sirens. Do you want a code that would get you a free pizza with a $20 order? It's from a good pizza spot. Sure. Yeah. Pizza. Nancy, where are you going? Get in the shelter. Oh. I can't just let Scott get away. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Scott. Thing. Switch on your GPS. That little dot you see, follow that and it will lead you right to Scott. We put a tracker on his truck. What? Win. But Nancy. What? Be careful out there. <laughs> Keep this radio on and I'll do my best to keep you safe. We're on a car chase now. I'm really sorry. What is the end of this game? Scott, he he wasn't always like this. I knew I mean I was worried about him earlier. His heart clearly wasn't in it anymore. He was putting us in danger. I just wanted to do what's best. That's not what it sounded like when I overheard you talking to Frosty. You two wanted to get rid of Scott. And from where I was standing, you sure didn't sound very concerned about safety. Nancy, I know it probably sounded bad, but there's a lot you don't know. Pete, the intern you took over for, his injury wasn't just an accident. Interesting. So it was he all their fault. Scott sent him out where he never should have been. After that, I knew I had to take over. That's still no... Looking back, I do things differently. But I did what I did for the right reason. I wanted yeah, no, to put our safety until doesn't matter. saw how reckless he was being. It was a mistake. I screwed up and I accept responsibility. No matter what happens out there, Promise me that you'll be careful. I promise. Why doesn't she just go? So, where do I have to go? So, I just have to, like, go north? Oh, I see, I see. Alright, where are you, Scott? Where are you? Oh, there you are! I think this is him. I found him! What do I do? Do I have to, like, hit him? Why is he so fast? Oh god, there's a tornado right there. How do I get him? What? I literally, I literally wrecked him. Tornado! <laughs> what happens if you go in the tornado? What do I have to do? <laughs> we can find Emerald City. <laughs> I know, I'm in a compact car. What else do you want from me though? What do I, what do I, what do I do? Do I need to cut him off? <gasps> oh! Look at these high-end graphics. Oh, <gasps> he Stop. crashed! I better find us some shelter. I'm oh my god. The spring house. Oh my god, oh. Wow, I'm a good person. I saved him. Oh, it's so loud. Made it. Dear Ned, once the theater was successfully evacuated, <laughs> Debbie and Chase were able to follow the GPS tracking signal what to the, the spring ending house, of this game. I had safely weathered the storm. Although he was pretty seriously shaken up in the crash, Scott came to in time to see Frosty arrive with the police. He received community service for destruction of public property and interfering with public safety records. He didn't fare so well with a the college. They fired him quicker than lightning hitting a bee stung greyhound, as they say around here. 
What? So it looks like he'll actually be serving the community now, instead of just pretending to. Even if it's just by picking up garbage by the side of the road. <laughs> Word spread quickly about Scott's misdeeds, and soon Brooke Tavanaugh, the rival chase team leader, found herself out of a job as well. Wow. With the storm season almost over, it looked like both teams were out of the competition. Dang. Debbie, always the organizer, decided to combine wow, the remaining so members much more on both organized. teams for the remainder of the season. Without oh. Scott's ever-present storm cloud hanging over the team and his constant sabotaging, the team really began to hit its stride with Debbie in charge. Oh, that's good. Two days after I told Coleman's I found the source of the sabotage and the change in team leaders, Debbie's chase team was greeted by a surprise delivery. The next generation of Krollmeister's storm tracking and detection equipment. With Scott out of the picture, Frosty renegotiated his contract. Now that he's able to pursue his own projects on the side, he's just about doubled his output. He's launched his own business, and when he's not getting pelted by softball sized hail, you'll find him in his studio. Chase has given up on his dreams of finding oil. Even if he hadn't, he wouldn't have the time to look. Debbie's keeping him too busy. Free from having to spend his days fixing Scott's mistakes, Chase has finally had the opportunity to show off his keen sense for weather. Now nice. that Debbie has accepted Scott's old position as head of the Canute Storm Team, he's become her right-hand man. Last I heard, he was going to assist Debbie in her classes in the fall. And when I got home, I found a surprise delivery myself as well. The first shipment of my lifetime supply of Coco Kringle Bars. Krollmeister also sent me a note telling me to keep my bags packed. He has a special surprise trip planned for me as a way to say thanks. Really? As long as it's some place where the clouds stay in the sky like they belong, I'll be happy to go. While the winners of the Green Skies event won't be determined until fall, things are looking pretty good for Debbie's team. With the new equipment, they've logged the most storm data. And although Debbie won't be showing anyone until she's 100% sure, the team may have made a verified touchdown prediction. Yesterday, a postcard from Pa arrived. After the town repaired the storm damage to the Grange, they restaged the town play. They even added a new part about the storm, including a scene where a certain someone unlocks the storm shelter. As long as it wasn't played by Pa in a wig, I'm happy. Pa says that he remembered most of his lines this time, at least the important ones. As for me, well, I've had just about enough stormy weather for one season. Love, what Nancy. If, what about... Oh god, I forgot. I think it's Tobias. Um, wait, what about, like, the... I'm... I'm mad. That ending was so abrupt. But, like, okay. But also, like, what the heck? Debbie didn't get anything... She, but she was trying to sabotage... Sabotage... Uh... Scott. I mean, I, I don't know. Doesn't that deserve some kind of punishment? I don't know, maybe because she said that she was never gonna make, like, never put anybody in danger again. Is that what? Right? I thought Frosty's real name was Frosty. No, it's not. I think it's Tobias. Well, I'm gonna guess that. But also, what about Ma? We didn't even get the conclusion for Pa. Pa literally was still, like, hanging on to the fact that Ma was still alive. We never got the conclusion of that. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied by this ending. Brooke will be working retail or customer service. Yeah, Brooke and Scott got fired, as they should. Pa found his joy on the stage. What could be better? I guess. But they didn't say anything about Mom, Lulu. Ugh, it's okay. All right, let's see what rewards I get. Do y'all think it's Tobias or is it Dave? I don't know. I'm going to guess Tobias. Oh, I was right. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Big spender. When price doesn't matter. Candy dispenser for sweetening the days of others. Oh, yeah, I gave everybody candy. Look at all these rewards. Couch potato for watching TV instead of sleuthing. <laughs> Found the Easter egg. Glass half full for looking on the bright side. Oh, that was one. Homesteader staking claim to your lands. I think it's because I got to level four on that thing. Quiz whiz for acing the test. Oh, well. Sightseer repeating, repeated touring of the Oklahoma Plains. 
Storm Spotter for tracking down all the clouds. How do you track down all the clouds? That was the other thing. That doesn't make any sense. How do you track down all the clouds? What? They didn't even give me like a list of the clouds, or at least I don't remember saying a list of clouds. What the heck? My freaking mysterious cloud quest. Snoopy in every corner. Sweet tooth for repeatedly sampling the candy. I ate a lot of candy. Oh well. Anyways. <laughs> Who who knew cheesing the game would pay off with an achievement? Well, you're not supposed to cheat it. I just did it. Anyways, all right, y'all ready for the next Nancy Drew? After risking my life chasing down deadly twisters, I think it's oh. time for a change of pace. We did this I one. I decided to join Bess and George on their trip to Kyoto, Japan. I've always wanted to visit Japan. From the exotic food and wild we were in Kyoto, in the cities, it wasn't Tokyo. To the nature and tradition in the smaller towns. I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all we of played this for Halloween. PG Crowmeister it was very has scary. Room for me at one of the area's best ryokans oh, or traditional inns. Oh, It'll that's be nice to why we went. Take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without oh. danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. <laughs> Join me in my next adventure, Shadow at the Water's Edge. Ooh, yeah, we beat that one already. Ugh. It's a good one. Well, we did. We beat that one. Remember? We beat it. We, it was really good. That was a really good one. But we played it for Halloween. Because we wanted to play the scary one. And that was scary. That was probably the, one of the scariest Nancy Drews. But there you go. We did it. Yay us, chat. So wait. What's after, what's after the J J Japan one? Wait! I wanted to see the endings. I wanted to see if there's bloopers. No! I didn't mean to click. Hi, what's what's I'm with Nancy. that? Okay, hold on. Should I just go back and? It's okay. Scott, I better find us some shells. Okay, sorry. We're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. I hate this sound. All right, all right. Maybe I can. Darn it! Made it. Dear right. Ned, once the theater was successfully also, why evacuated, we call Debbie Ned? and Chase were able to follow the GPS tracking signal to the spring house, where Scott and I had safely weathered the storm. Although he was pretty seriously shaken up in the crash, Scott came to in time to see Frosty arrive with the police. He received community service for destruction of public property and interfering with public safety records. He didn't fare so well with a college. They fired him quicker than lightning hitting a beast on Greyhound, as they say around here. I've never so heard of like that saying before. Be the community now his voice actor was unavailable. To, even if it's just by picking up garbage by the side of Wait, the road. Wait, whose voice actor? Word spread quickly about Scott's misdeeds, and soon Brooke Tavanaugh, the rival chase team leader, found herself out of a job as well. With the storm season almost over, Oh, Ned. Like both teams were out of the competition. Maybe. Debbie, Maybe. always the organizer, decided we could even to call the Bess remaining or members George. on both teams for the remainder of the season. We had this Krollmeister guy, and we just had the hardy storm boys. Cloud hanging over the team and his constant sabotaging, the team really began to hit its stride with Debbie in charge. Two days after I told Krollmeister I had found the source of the sabotage and the change they in were all useless. Chase they was were. By a surprise when I needed help, they the weren't there for me. Krollmeister's storm tracking and detection equipment. Dumb. With Scott out of the picture, Frosty renegotiated his contract. Now that he's able to pursue his own projects on the side, he's just about doubled his output. He's launched his own business, and when he's not getting pelted by softball-sized hail, you'll find him in his I'm still studio. bothered by that Chase mom paw thing, man. Of finding oil. Even if he had still bothered by Chad. <laughs> Debbie's Are y'all not too bothered busy. by it? Free from having to spend his days fixing Scott's I was mistakes, hoping we could, Chase is I don't know, get him to go to therapy. Sense for weather. 
Now that Debbie has accepted Scott's True, old position Jared. as head of the Canute Storm <laughs> team, he's become her right-hand man. Last I heard, he was going to assist Debbie it in her classes he moved in the fall. On. And when I got home, I found a surprise okay. delivery myself as well. The first shipment of my lifetime supply of Hi, Cocoa DJ. Pringle Bars. Krollmeister also but when we talked to him about Ma, to he still said that she was out. He has a special surprise trip. You know what, Lulu? Let's think positively. As He's as it's a fictional a character, and he moved on. Like <laughs> I'll be happy to go. While the winners of the Green Skies <laughs> event won't be determined until fall, it just made me things sad. Things pretty good for Debbie's team. Pa With didn't kill Ma. I thought that was gonna be the twist at the end. No. Debbie won't be showing anyone until she's 100% sure. The team what? Have Fictional? Made a <laughs> touchdown prediction. Yesterday, a postcard from Pa arrived. After the town repaired the storm damage to the Grange, they restaged the town play. They even added a new part about the storm. Can you imagine eating all that the storm shelter? As long as it wasn't played by Pa in a wig, I'm happy. Pa he says can that control he the most tornadoes. Of his lines this time, at least the important ones. As for me, well, I've had just about enough stormy weather for one season. All right, season. bloopers. We have to see the very end, guys. Oh, it's a new question. What is the, What is hanging from the tree outside? Oh, it's a tire swing. Oh, it's a different question. I got it right again. <laughs> After risking my life chasing All right, down no deadly clicking. twisters, I think it's time for a change of pace. I've decided to join Bess and George on their trip to Kyoto, Japan. I've always wanted to visit Japan. Looks like a From fur the coat. the food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature With and tradition your can in, in the corner, towns. real high. I know it's going to be a time switch. to see and do. As a thank it's you for all of my hard detective coat. work, PG Crow really has though. reserved a room for me at one of the oh earliest God, best thank you. or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets. All right, let's see what the next corner. Nancy Drew is since already we've already played this one. And I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. That's creepy. That's uncomfortable creepy. Also, I hate that sound effect. Join me in my next adventure, Shadow. At the water's edge. The captive curse is the next one. Nancy drew the captive curse. It was in 2011. It's about a legendary monster in Germany. Cool. Do we have any Germans here? <laughs> We're going to Germany. Maybe my German lessons will pay off. Yeah! Thanks, Babel! <laughs> All right, I'm not clicking. We have to wait until the end because we have to see these bloopers, chat. It was only... We only heard about these bloopers from the last game. I had never known that Nancy Drew does bloopers at the very end of the credits. I'm assuming it's for all games, but it was the first time I discovered it, which makes me sad, because I was like, now I want to see the bloopers for all the other ones. Darn it. I wish I could be on the help list on a Nancy Drew game. I would feel very fulfilled. You know what I mean? Like I was a voice or I was a photo in the Nancy Drew game or I helped them in some way. Would love that. All right, here we go. Here's the bloopers. Here we go. Why did they start it at seven? Action. This doesn't look like bloopers. What? Here you go, little guys. Good luck in your new home. How many of you are there? 
<laughs> What's with the okay, laughing? This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> this is Elsie's first time as a driver on the Oklahoma circuit, but already she's showing herself to be a talented driver and fierce competitor on the track. It's what? rare to see a young cow driver with this much confidence, especially on such a difficult terrain. What? Excellent handling around the turns. Uh oh, this could be trouble. <laughs> What's going and on? And she handles it like a pro. Excellent performance today. Only one question remains. How did she get a car in the first place? <gasps> Wait, this stage looks familiar. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes, oh my god, he's doing... Oh my god, he's doing the Nancy Drew. Yeah, it's from Phantom of Venice. 